Okay, well I'm back with another edition of the Blu-ray DVD Spotlight. This would be uh, number three. Today I'm spotlighting the 2016 Grindhouse release of Pieces. Now this is probably, um, I believe this is probably the first... Special edition, bells and whistles, wherever the hell you want to call it, like, uh, like my, uh, the last one, the Suspiria DVD, uh, special edition bells and whistles of, uh, Blu-ray, and, um, I don't know, I can't remember if I picked this up, I had to have, I had to have, um, pre-ordered it or something, I don't know, I don't remember, you know, 2016 wasn't that long ago, but I guess um, this edition that I got was also the um, the edition with the puzzle. And I guess that sold out pretty quick and it was only limited to like 3,000 pieces. Or ah, pieces, ah, gotcha. 3,000 uh, units, whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, so this that's the one I got. This this is a really nice release, though. Um, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a two-disker movie wise and um there's some really cool stuff on there and um this movie was always like i don't know how, how to describe it um it's it's awesome it's great this is one of this is the very first this is this is going to age me a little bit this is the very first movie i rented on uh vhs we were kind of late to the to the vhs game and um, probably around 84, 85. And we rented this, and uh, Charles Bronson's The Evil That Men Do. So I was probably 10, 11 when I saw this. And um, yeah, man, it's always stuck with me. It's, it's, it's so much fun. It's cheesy, but it's, it's gory, and it's like a, you know, you're giallo, but um, released in 82 in Spain and 83 in the US. So it wasn't really out that long when I finally saw it, but this is a great edition. I don't know, I'm sh I'm thinking it's still around. It's not the the puzzle edition, so um, that's what sold me. This this little thing right here. I'll try and slide it over, and not not screw it up. If you can see it, there's the puzzle. I I, I took out the naughty bits because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. But yeah, it's got the puzzle, and of course, like I said before. You want to sell me on something? You want to sell me on a Blu-ray, or you throw in the the soundtrack? Man, I I, I am uh, I'm sold for sure. But uh, yeah, this this is real, this is a nice edition. It's it's a 4K transfer. It's got the U.S. and the um, Spanish version on here. Some interviews, I guess, it's some of the interviews and stuff that would carry over from the uh, the DVD that came out a few years earlier. But um, yeah, this is this is one of my this is one of my favorites that I have in my in my uh, well yeah, Blu-ray collection. But and you're probably wondering what you know what Leatherface is doing over here. Well, since there's no um, you know as far as I know no no pieces but, uh, merchandise. This is going with the old tagline: "You don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre." There he is, old Leatherface in pieces. <laughs> so yeah, that's that, that's the spotlight. Oh, it also comes with like a little, you know, little book, little booklet. So you know, no lobby cards, but the soundtrack and, and the puzzle just just make it all worthwhile for sure. So yeah, uh, pieces, Blu-ray, Grindhouse release and get it if you can. I don't think the, the puzzle thing's around anymore, but um, you can still get this as far as I know. So, yeah, good stuff. Long live horror and metal. Thanks for watching.